Hey friends, Sheila here with my sweet angel cheesecake who's just gonna hang out. Yeah. Well now she's licking herself, which sounds kind of weird, so let's just give her a minute. Today I wanted to share some of the ways I pick where I'm going to bike tour and how I plan the route for where I'm going to bike tour. And also I'm going to reveal where I'm bike touring next. Of course a big part of the fun of bike touring is that you can't predict everything and you need to make decisions on the fly and create routes as you go. But I find doing some research and having a sense of my route helps give me the confidence to set out on a bike tour. And it also helps ensure that I have budgeted my time accordingly. If I only have a certain amount of time to do a bike tour, I want to make sure that I'm not going to be rushed or stressed or unable to get from point A to point B in time. Now, before I plan a route, of course, I have to figure out where I'm going in the first place. So let's start with step number one, which is to think about the experience I want to have. I basically start asking myself, how do I want to feel? What kind of roads do I want to be on? What do I want to see? I try to tune into my own intuition and visualize the trip that I want to have. I also factor in my budget. Is it in my budget to go to a more expensive place and possibly rely on more Airbnbs or hostels? Or do I need to go to a more affordable location and make sure that I'm camping a lot? I also to think about how long I'm able to travel for. Will I be able to see all the things I want to see in that place? And budget and time kind of go together sometimes I find. So for instance, I know I would love to bike tour in Japan one day, but the cost to get there is quite expensive. So if I'm heading there, I want to make sure I have enough time to see everything I want to see. So that's a little spoiler that the place I'm going next is not Japan, but hopefully it will be one day soon. And then of course, in the current environment, I also need to factor in things like pandemic border closures. As I'm kind of mulling all of this over, I start doing some casual Google searches, getting a sense of different experiences and sites in different places. So my partner Michael and I were doing this assessment, trying to figure out where we wanted to do our next bike tour. We knew we wanted to be in mountains, we knew we wanted to be fairly remote, and we had a little over a month to do it. So with this, we narrowed it down to Peru versus Turkey. In Peru, we were really drawn to the Peru divide. It really seems like an adventure we want to go on. But we didn't know if we would have enough time to acclimatize to the altitude to really feel our best. And we weren't 100% if our bikes or experience level were at the point where we would really be able to enjoy and soak in that experience. So we decided to leave the Peru Divide for a future date, which means our next bike tour will be to, drum roll please, well, that was very anticlimactic. Maybe I'll get a sound effects in here. Drum roll, please. Turkey! From the initial research we did, we found a lot of sites we wanted to see, a lot of positive experiences from other bicycle travelers. So we decided to go with Turkey and to start picking a route. Which brings us to step two, which is to dive into research mode. Basically, I head into a whole bunch of Facebook groups, which I will link below. I also check out Reddit and Instagram and just plain old Google. And I search under the place I am going for people who have been there, who might be sharing different routes, or for people who have asked similar questions about the place I'm going, and I can borrow some of the answers they got. And if I don't find anything, I can always ask a question of my own. What Michael and I found was that we couldn't find too many longer cycling specific routes in Turkey. But what I did find was some of the favorite spots that different cyclists had seen on their bike tours. So I started kind of plotting them together and creating a bit of a route. 
but it was kind of hard to know if that route was going to be an enjoyable one. If you watch my video about some of my favorite bike touring apps, I mentioned how I like using Google Maps' street view feature to look up what the road conditions and the kind of general environment might be. But that is limited to where the Google car has gone, and in Turkey it's mostly gone on the main roads, which I don't really want to be on much as a cyclist, and there isn't a lot of street view available for smaller roads. So we felt a little stumped on how to find a nice, enjoyable route to connect these different points. But that's where step three came in to save the day. Step three is to talk about it. The internet is such a useful tool that I feel like sometimes we can get so independent researching that we forget there are resources all around us. So that's why I found it so helpful if I'm thinking about a place I want to go or if I for sure planned a trip to just start talking about it. Talk to friends and family, talk to friends in the cycling community, talk to your local bike shop, and you might just have somebody say, hey, I was there, or hey, I have a friend of a friend who was there, or hey, I saw this random post on Instagram. Those little connections can be so helpful. And in this case, they really were. Michael was in his local bike shop and he mentioned that he was looking at cycling Turkey. And none of them had cycled in Turkey, but they had seen someone named Ryan Wilson on Instagram who had traveled to Turkey. His Instagram handle is rmdub and I will link to that below. Michael reached out to him and he had actually created and shared GPS tracks of these beautiful routes he had taken and they were everything we wanted. They were remote, they were in the mountains, it was absolutely perfect. So we used his GPS tracks and some of our own creativity to create a route we are really excited about. And of course we know some changes will likely have to happen along the way, but at least we have this starting point to set out with. All right friends, that's it for this one. I would love to know if you have done anything similar in the past or maybe you just set off on your own adventure and figure out the route as you go. There are an infinite number of ways to bike tour and I love hearing about each and every one of them. So let me know your experiences in the comments. All right, thanks for being here. Have a good one. Bye.